Hello everybody and welcome back to Easy Medicine. I'm back at home for Christmas. You'll see it on the background. And as I'm back home, I spent the whole week sick in bed. It really sucked. Last week I spoke about having the cold, now I have the cold. Stayed the whole week in bed, it really sucked. But it's a virus in fact, so you have to just stay in bed, relax and sit it out. I did it, I'm feeling now a little bit better and I'm feeling so good that I'm willing to do a new video. This video is going to be about bad breath. Christmas is coming up, all your relatives gather and I'm pretty sure you got that one relative who has always a bad breath or maybe you are having this problem that you're having from time to time a bad breath. This video we're going to speak about what you can do about it, what are the reasons for it and how to prevent them. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more medical content and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Let's get into it! So there are various reasons why you can have bad breath and we are going to separate them in one category that you can more or less prevent and one that you can not really influence. So the number one reason for bad breath is bad oral hygiene. We're speaking brushing your teeth and cleaning your tongue. Of course, when you wake up in the morning, you have a bad breath, but if you brush your teeth profoundly, this should go away. A lot of people forget about the tongue. The tongue also needs some cleaning. You know, it got these hills and valley like structure and there is a place where food particles can accumulate. You have to clean those as well. So brush your teeth a little bit with your, with your brush or get a little scraper and so clean your tongue and so this is a big reason how you can prevent bad breath. Another reason are consumables. Everybody knows that you get a bad breath when eating garlic or having a lot of onions. Smoking and drinking alcohol are also various reasons that cause a bad breath. So if you got the nice job interview, you need to cut down on the garlic and maybe do not smoke right before the interview. Better you do not smoke at all, but that's a different topic. <laughs> and there are reasons that you cannot really influence. Like if you have an infection in your throat or you're getting sick up in your nose as well, you cannot influence that. These bacteria are causing a bad smell. And if you get the reflux disease where acid from your stomach flows back into your food pipe, this is on the one hand it's really uncomfortable, on the other it causes a bad breath. But the difference is that these reasons for bad breath are also smellable if you breathe out through your nose. So. If you do like this, you can also smell that there is a bad breath or more likely other people can smell it. If these are one of the reasons why you might have a bad breath, do not hesitate to go and see your doctor, okay? So sometimes you are in the situation where you're not sure, um, have I a bad breath or is, is it okay? Do, do the others smell it or not? Like, I'm not sure. There is the option to breathe in your hand and to smell it like, <gasps> but this is not working properly. Your mouth and your nose are interconnected back in your throat. So everything that is in your mouth also smells back into your nose. So your nose is desensibilized for the smells in your mouth. What you can do, what is really effective, lick a spoon or a fork, let it air dry a little bit and then smell it back again. Then you can really smell what's going on in your mouth. That's it for today's video. I hope that you guys found these tips a little bit helpful and maybe you can use them to educate another person or maybe prevent your own bad breath. I hope you guys enjoyed watching all in all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.